we are back with 16-bit imperial guard versus gray squadron tempest 16-bit <clears throat> imperial guard made top four last uh both last cal cup and last um what was that tournament i won again twin suns tournament we got there um having made top four consistently in many tournaments over the past several months they are going to be easily the content the uh favorites going into this match having chosen new republic first in order to uh presumably assert their dominance which i cannot blame them for <laughs> um so we are going to get into this match in a little bit We've got everyone uh let's see let's see i'm in let's see all right all right yes i think we're in a good spot here by the way if you guys have any feedback about any of the casting stuff i'm very new to i'm, very, I'm still very new and very rough to casting i haven't done a lot of it so if you guys have any suggestions questions tips or comments um i will be more than happy to hear them here or on the bod so let's take a look <clears throat> so on team gray squadron tempest we have trev precursor chad chua mc tmp maticus rex and heller chua known for bomber play um i don't know too much about the other players i believe maticus also a bomber slash objective player and on the New Republic side of things, we have Hod, Minor Seventh, Swift, Narcissist, and Luma. So, I know more about these guys, so I'm going to talk more about these guys. Oh, I need to get into this thing. I'll also probably edit these. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna start by editing all these things because I can't edit while I don't have it up for some reason. It's very silly. Let's see, uh, let's see. And we're going to make sure that this one's also correct. Sixteen bit Imperial Guard and Tempest. Done. Cool. Very cool. All right. Transition done. All right. So here's our players. Hod, Minor 7, Swift, Narciss, and Luma. Minor 7, Narc Minor 7, and Luma. Those are your bombers. Narciss, that's your support player. You know him, you love him. He tractor beans people. He stops them dead in their tracks, and he glues them there with his big blue beams of glueness uh, and stickiness, and he just sits you there while Hod and Minor 7 scream at the top of their lungs and beam the shit out of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... Um, that's, that's IG's play style. Um, they, their games, bloodbaths every single time. I guarantee you, this game, bloodbath. All right, so let's get into it. I'm very excited for this match. Uh, let's, uh, let's get into this glue fight. And let's take a look at what the, uh, what Tempest have in store to deal with this crazy Narciss tractor beam play. Let's go. Hod and Swift coming out in those X-Wings. Swift opting for the X-Wing over the A-Wing. Quite interesting. Um, let's get into see what their loadouts are really quickly. Narcissist, classic track to be Mark. We all knew it. We all knew it's coming. We know we love it. Ion missile, concussion missile for Swift. Minor 7th with the Ion Cannon turret. Turret, we're going to watch out for that. There are no defenders on the field, so that turret might be a little bit misplaced, but perhaps they'll use it to pressure some people. Um, Hod with the Ion uh torpedo as well trev with standard mark resupply big dunk on luma to start things off with chad going for the burst laser not gonna find it as luma boosts away <clears throat> chua farming people farming swift going for a dunk oh they get luma uh or excuse me they get trev immediately but they lose on the farm and have to go back to the fen there's no way the raider died so it had to be a farm only flip but they do get the 10 morale from the kill on trev and they're going to have a relatively quick defense here if they can 
force them out. Swift going for more kills, though. Gets the Ion Dunk on Shua, but getting pressured from behind by another player as he comes out here. Who is Narciss doing? Looking for bombers to track to be. Mark's almost off of cooldown. Let's see it happen. Ion Laser is coming out. Overcharge is up. Shield's a little bit low. Wonder if someone's someone's peeling on him right now. Shields are charging. He's taking Scrambler shields as the shields of choice. Let they regenerate more slowly, but are very effective against missiles. Makes it a lot harder to get dunked. Getting beamed right now from behind. 50 HP. Shields down. 30 HP. Trying to get away, and he's gunned down. <coughs> Rebels having still having a quick flip regardless precursor shack going down only a little bit more morale to flip what's the status of the raider i think it's almost dead here just the raider will flip they have tempest has managed to get shields down on b not so much on a though chua getting eye missile gunned down a little bit he's gonna have a tough time getting back to base as swift chases him down eye missile still off of cooldown could happen will he get it chua going for the out of phase mean beam up and he is not not quite able to get it um just the last bit of power from swift's lasers able to take him down before the cruiser is destroyed i wonder how low that is very interested to know um three people on great squadron tempest down for the count already uh at the beginning of this phase iron Torp already out from hod taking down the shields on one of these crews and another one what how did they even get the shields down so quickly? Maybe Hod did an out-of-phase torpedo. I don't know. I don't actually know. I think Hod might have done an out-of-phase ion torpedo in order to take down the shields. Or he just got resupplied real quick. Um, either way, shields already down on both cruises with a massive morale bar for IG. Nars is having a bit of a tough time here. 35 HP, but not dead yet. Doing a real big drift. A couple of multi-drifts maybe coming out here. Yep, there's one. There's two, and charging more engines for another boost out, and it looks like he's still getting tailed. Ion dunked by Precursor Chad. Going for that kill, going for that kill, and they managed to beam down the big Narcissist. Big Hod getting some burst laser fire on Chad, having a little trouble with Chad, choosing to take the Ion Rockets to help out a little with that player pressure. Uh, interesting choice. They've already lost one of their cruisers to player damage, though, and they're having some trouble getting enough morale to flip. Um, they do get the raider, but they still need a little bit more farm, a little bit more AI to actually finish this off. Swift doing some damage, flying around, taking their time. Minor 7 flying back. Treb under some big pressure here. Who's taking him down? Hod. Eye missile out. Gets him. Burst lasers also get him taking down their support player and they're still having the bombers are forced to pk here and that's not good for tempest they're having some trouble getting just enough they only need a couple more creep here if they were spending a little bit more time creeping they might have this just one more creep waiting on that one more hod boosting around looking for that weapon energy to keep doing damage to the cruiser and they finally go on their defense so oh and hod does go down but <clears throat> They do have one Y-Wing in position. Oh, goes down. Very, very cool. Um, just one Y-Wing in position, just Luma. So, the um, Tempest is going to have a... Oh, getting beamed down. Heller getting beamed down by the X-Wing in front of him as he straight lines this cruiser here. They're going... They have a big opportunity to do a lot of damage as there was only one Y-Wing up for some time. So the morale is almost maxed out and the Raider is probably still in pretty good shape. Chooses to take out the frigate immediately. Looks like they're going to aim to go for the flagship run. <clears throat> I wonder what the glue gun's doing. Glue gun's already been off cooldown. What am I doing? I'm missing all the glue gun shots. All right, well, glue gun number two is up. Ionized Trev already. Teammates beaming down that support. And Narciss sets up another kill for Imperial Guard. And there's another ion. There's another glue gun on Chua. Oh, and the, ion and the ionization. <clears throat> The glue is stuck. Oh, gets himself out of it pretty quickly. Nice job. Tractor beam on the line. Glue gun firing. Oh, nope. No, no pick there. Tractor beam still up. Nope. Now it's dissipated. 8%. Those iron lasers not going to do it, but standard lasers from his buddy. Probably Swift over there. Finishing the kill. Um, MC75 defense, though. There's almost at the flip, but can their bombers take down a shield gem before then? Heller. Boosting around, trying to get in, trying to get in. He's almost in. 
He gets the missiles off, he gets some rotary damage, but he goes down, bringing the gen only to about 70% or so. Only about 70% of so HP. And Maticus, oh, the blue gun, destroyed. Um, disabled and dethroned. Chua going for some farm. They only have one farmer out on the map now. It's all in 16 Bigs Court. With the big Narciss, big Minor 7, big Hod, and all these guys going to be able to set up for a strong, uh, strong attack run. Though, right now, they are focusing on taking out the support Treb yet again here for a little bit of extra morale and to prevent marks on their own players. Now, with maximum morale, Cruiser dead, they have full opportunity to take on the ISD. Proton Torp Concussion Missile on, uh, excuse me, I think that's Piercing Torp Concussion Missile on Minor 7. Burst Laser Conk on Hot, no, Plasburst. Burst. Oh, we are Plasbursting Bursting now, boys. Let's go. Having a bit of trouble getting close enough. Oh, there's a good run. And there's one Shield Generator destroyed. Plasburst Burst, extremely short range, super high damage if you can get onto the Shield Generators. And despite the vulnerability it posed, Hod was able to find an opening and take out both Generators in that, in the just couple of passes. Uh, with the help of his teammates. Going for targeting now. Interesting choice. Oh, doesn't notice the player behind him and gets beamed down super quickly. The phase is flipped. Targeting does go down. And now 16 big, which two shield generators and targeting destroyed is going to have a nice... is all dead, actually. Luma, Swift, and Hod all going down. Minor 7 also going down. Tempest has a chance at a one phase kill here with how long it's going to take their farmers to come back online with both Minor 7th and Luma going down. Maticus Rex moving across the map now, aiming, trying to protect the uh, Raider, but getting a little bit caught up in dogfighting with Narcissist, who is currently going after that bomber, going after that shield generator. Chua takes down the shield generator, very solid. Glue gun coming out, not able to find any connections. As of yet, Tractor Beam online, Blue Gun coming out, and Ionized while Tractored, but not enough damage, no one to follow up on that damage, and another bomber takes down the left shield generator of the MC-75. Two at 5 HP, about to go down, but it's done its job. Um, can, unfortunately, that is now three deaths on Tempest. Um, that one only being the last in a string of deaths from Precursor Chad and Maticus Rex, and now Trev going down, so they're going to be hard pressed to make this defense happen, if it even is possible at this point. Narciss and Swift and Minor 7th all swapping ships, so they have a little bit of time here, but it's going to be pretty difficult. Precursor Chad and the Torpedo Concussion Missile loadout, not very effective at killing players, unfortunately, given that the there is no eye missile here to disable them. But the burst lasers doing quite a good job stopping uh, Hod from being able to play with strengths. A mask comes out from the uh, from Narcissist, presumably. Yes, going mask mark. No track to be on the offense here. Switch going for the barrage rocket concussion missile build for the for the final flagship offense here. Just going for maximum damage at close range while he drifts around the hull. They only need one or two more weak points. 5% on the ISD, and they get it. Strong showing from a bit of a scary, a bit of a scary one. That was closer than I might have expected, but still uh, very good, very nice performance from 16-bit. The glue gun takes it home once again. And yes, the game, the game is lagging a little bit. The game is lagging just a little bit. That that's all right. Nice job from uh, 16 Bit Gaming. Let's see how the bloodbath commenced. Um, let's just see the, the clean scoreboard for a second here. Yes, 32, 24 AI for Luma and Minor Seven. Much more of a sp even split on Tempest to go opting for the three bombers. Lots of capture damage. Oh, someone left. Um, but yeah, 10 kills on Swift, slaying out only two deaths. Not a lot of capture, but he obviously made up for that in a lot of other ways with that value. Um, and yeah, that damage from Shua MC. Very impressive overall. 
That was a very exciting game to watch. So much to catch, so little time. Only one perspective. It makes me wish I could be multiple people spectating from every angle at the same time. Very entertaining. Now, nicer. We need to get those predictions for game two up there. I don't know if we even got it for game one, but yeah, hot, hot blast bursting on flagship. Very, very strong. Very strong. Imagine. Imagine Plaz burst on Capship. I don't think the world is ready for multiple fan cars. <laughs> Look, you can you can you can handle Brunus and me. Why not just more of me? It's fine. Empire split incoming? We'll see. We'll see. Um Seems as if now we didn't get to see many shots of it, but it's possible the Iron Cannon turret was instrumental that I mentioned at the beginning. It might have been instrumental to taking down the shields of that support player, um, Trev, to destroy their, uh, really make them vulnerable to let Swifty finish off those kills. Um, IG all about those kill setups and dunks. They really, really, really love to gang up on people. They, they're the big boys. They they pop they pop out their big chests. They grab their goo their glue guns. Well, Narcissus grabs his glue gun, and uh, Minor Seven grabs his uh, Minor Seven grabs his little uh, little twirly glue gun on his Y wing, and they just they just beam people. They just beam everyone down. No, <laughs> there's no escape from the glue guns. Oh my gosh. I don't know about I don't know about this because the uh because originally glue gun was supposed to be a shark beam and then it kind of evolved into like also being the ion cannon. But I think it's okay. Um Let's see. Wow, heavy predictions on Imperial Guard. Very heavy. Four and a half thousand channel points on Imperial Guard right now. Anyone care to take a Tempest bet? Empire split anyone? Empire over power? We'll, or Rebel split anyone? Rebels over power? Let's see. Okay, we'll see. We get the lobby, huh? We need to join the lobby. Let's. Okay. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, that was intense. Imagine, gosh. Give me channel points so you can redeem hydrate looking up for the caster. I'm I'm hydrating, I promise. Alright. Also, thanks for popping in, Swift. Best day of your life was when you attracted Narcissus. Very strong. Very strong place. Oh, man. What a... What a day. This game is going to be nuts. We're going to get to see some Empire uh, big gaming plays. Let's see it pop up. All right. And we change that score. There we go, and we're going to change this to... <laughs> there we go. Oh, and let's just... Let's just center that over here. Hopefully, hopefully it looks okay. Everything look okay, guys? Everything looks great. All right. <clears throat> Got some aliens over here. Got some helmeted dudes over here. And one blue dude. Very strong uh red uniforms for big the big gamers. I'll refuse to call them anything other than the big gamers at this point. TMP one game one, IG one game one. Ah, whoops. Yes. It was on the right side. So I hit score B, but it was actually score A all along. It, all along, it was I, score A. 
Anyway, the um, big gamers really bringing out their big blue guns and slapping some big blue cheeks. We'll see if they can continue their streak and bring us to a 2-0 victory over Tempest. Or if Tempest can bring it back, counter the glue guns with their possibly their own glue guns and uh, get that damage done and bring the, the good name of Grey Squadron to all people over the universe. <laughs> to fully endorse being called big gamers? Very good, because I was going to do it regardless. Let's go. Yeah. One thing I should mention, Tempest has some... When they get in, they have some pretty decent shield gen attacks, but it remains to be seen if they can beat the ISD final boss on their side of the map. Alright, two X-Wings, two Y-Wings in from Tempest. Let's see if they can take it home. All right, Trev with the Masked Mark for the open. Chua, double farm. Uh, I am Rocket, I am Missile, the preferred build for both Chad and Ekpire. They're going heavy on the PK here. We'll see if they can unleash that double defender here. I am Missile, Conk, and I am Missile, Quick Lock, respectively, for Swift and Han. Narcissist, Blue Gun, Tractor Beam, all good. And they're going to be farming. Let's take a look at these um these Iron Dunks. Going for the Iron Duck with a Plaz Burst from Chad. Oh, I must have missed an eye missile dunk because Narcissus has no shields. Oh, he crashes or something. Gets blasted away. Oh, no. Don't tell me Egg Pirate has Blast Burst, too. No, that looks like that's got to be Burst Cannons, right? Yeah, that's Burst Cannons. Not able to find any other picks, but with a one pick on Narcissus, they do take a solid morale lead, although both teams seem to be pretty even on farm for the moment. Takes the eye missile shot, misses. Kriegzilla still going after it. Chad goes down to unknown causes. Probably hot or swift. Oh, hot taking down another shot on Ekpired. I missile doesn't get quite connect, but Ekpired still taking a few shots. Lower and shield. Swift coming out. Not much going on there. Chua also go went down. Uh-oh. They're having some trouble here with uh, their farm now. Now that Chua's down. Swift gunning for Maticus Rex, the last farmer, as they try to cement their victory in the opening dogfight phase and shove their iron lasers up against uh up against tempest's defense defenses narcissus going for the glue gun on chad marks out no marks marks uh marks hmm marks not out eggpard tailing uh tailing narcissist as they go they go at it Having a bit of trouble continuing to follow, and big gamers do manage to get the first offense here. We'll see what they do to take down these shields. I imagine they'll open up with some ion missiles on those cruisers. There it is, Hod going for the standard lasers, and the ion missile dunk onto these shields. Swift doing the same. Only a couple of ion missiles left for each of them. They might need to go resupply, um, or they might just have enough bomber damage to, to bring it through. Um, Narciss actually sets up another kill on Ekpard. Missed that one. Um, now on Shua. Still marks out with Interactive Beam range. Glue guns, let's go! Glue gun! Shua disabled. No follow up though for the kill. Um, Trev also at low HP. Rear shields down. Front shields immediately disabled. And Swift and uh, Narciss able to team up for that gank on Trev. <clears throat> really being bullied this game. Uh, resident uh, bully victim. Oh, glue gun takes down another. Chew a glue gun to death. Oh man, <laughs> every single time. Um, Darce is just on a murder spree with Swift and Hod here, while Luma and Kriegzilla uh, begging for resupply. Really need resupplies, but just he just doesn't have them. He has tractor beams instead. He has tractor beams on offense. He's just going at it with that glue gun. Chad at zero shields, trying to regenerate them. Up gets the regeneration. Um, Narciss going for the tractor beam and the glue gun on Trev. Oh, he's standing still. Where is that leg? No, he is. Oh, and he's fully ionized, fully glue gun, top to bottom, covered in blue splotches. Um, and he goes down the swift, finishing that kill. Um, 
swift and hard. Oh, and the iron dome from Chad. Can, can he stop the killing spree? Can he stop the mass murderer? A glue gun maniac, narcissist, egg pirate on the ta on the chase, looking for it, looking for it. Oh, he's got one on. He's got ten ion rockets left. Not able to finish it off yet. 5 HP on Narcissus, he just won't go down, and neither will the morale bar. Ha uh, despite this phase lasting a whole 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Oh! And trying for the ion rockets, but just not quite connecting hard enough. And this phase is just going on forever and ever in classic Imperial Guard fashion with already two and a half minutes on the clock one cruiser destroyed the other cruiser no shield but no other meaningful damage and finally they get the farm to move to offense but narciss still alive still setting up those kills swift at no munitions this is the weakness of the tractor beam build is eventually your team just runs out of munitions and swift goes down not sure to what but it does go down narciss safely away doesn't need to resupply himself or does he he might take some uh might take some HP there. Chua with the B Wing <coughs> Taking the 10 bombs in. I imagine Trev, yep, with the resupplies following Chua in. Let's see what the B Wing can do. And if Swift and Hod even notice. Oh, yep, Hod sure notices Chua trying to evade um as Trev watches Maticus going down. Where is Narcissist? Where is Ha going to be able to take this kill? Narciss going down. Um, I imagine some Iron Dunk. Conversion Shield popped on the B-Wing, straight lining it, and destroyed by the lasers, choosing not to do, choosing to take a suicide run rather than try to evade. Rest in peace, B-Wing. Chua, you mad lad. Oh my gosh. And the Empire already, after just about a minute, has managed to flip the phase. The Corvette shield's just going down, but the farm being more than enough to flip. Oh, wow. A dominating, a very high risk play from Tempest not working out this time. It's possible that because of the very difficult defense that they had just a moment ago, that they chose to take out the high risk, high reward play, but yeah. That was a uh, very strong play. Oh, Chad, going in with the Plasburst, <laughs> trying to dogfight out. Oh, going for Narcissus. He has the rockets. He has the eye missile. A bit of a lag spike there, unfortunately. You didn't get to see what that pass was like. You can imagine it missed. Going for the Plasburst shots. One hit, little hits. Bigger hit, bigger hit, but not able to really secure anything. You, need, you really need the eye missile in order to take it down. And Narcissus, with his Scrambler shields, is able to... Uh, Able to hold it off for now. Yep, continues his amazing defensive flying. Gets it by a couple iron rockets, but able to just zoom right out of there using the debris as cover. Strong plays there. They're on the MC-75 defense. Luma getting beamed down. They're the old, that's the old, that's their only other bomber. The both shield gens are still fully operational, although they do have quite a morale bank stored up. Chad going down as he continues continue to try to beam down Narciss. Narciss being relatively ineffectual, um, although he is holding that uh, holding that attention, but does get another pick on Chua and C, preventing the defenders here, uh, Tempest, from getting any farm and flipping the phase back to offense. Um, and so even though they're not doing any damage, the shields from the NC-75 are slowly but surely falling. Um, Narciss does finally get beamed down. The Raider's still up. Both shield generators still online, but Big Luma and Kriegzilla both able to go for new runs. Kriegzilla going in for, oh, he bumps on the side of the shield generator with, the, and the proton bomb sadly misses, but Luma does take down the other side of the shields. Um, Krieg trying for it, not quite getting it. Luma hopping in with those powerful Old rotary guns, perfect stop in the shield gen, very clean takedown from Luma, very impressive. <clears throat> T choosing to take down targeting, for those who don't know, targeting does do damage to the hull of the MC-75, but he gets ionized, he gets ion dunked, he's getting chased down by Chad, who is plasma bursting down. One more shot will get him, and the combined fire of the MC-75 and Chad does manage to take down Luma. 
Um, and they are finally on offense. Narciss immediately drifting by, gunning for the Corvette. Oh, going for the, opting for the joust very briefly, forcing Chad to pull off as his plasma laser is just too short range to to, to challenge Narciss's uh, joust potential with those glue guns. But gets ionized from behind. I imagine Swift is right behind him, uh, or Hod taking that kill. Swift goes down as well. Let's see. That they haven't managed. Tempest has not managed to put any pressure on the farmers, and have lost one of their very important damage dealers. ICT and Mean Beam up on Chua, gunning for Hod. Almost there. Manages to force the pilot air with the uh, with the ion turret, and opts to pressure Kriegzilla. The um, lots of lots of laser energy with his slam engine uh, to just continue to put damage on with his rotary, I suppose. Um, very interesting pick. Tractor beam by Narcissus, and there's that blue gun for you, sir. Destroy. Whoa, still not dead yet. Narcissus goes down. 8 HP and destroyed. Resupply was attempted, but not successful. Trap flying around. Uh, Chad also flying around. Ekpire flying around. And they're back onto defense. MC75 defense. Only hull left. No shield generators. It looks like this may be the end for Ray Squadron Tempest's match here today, I promise. <coughs> Blue guns, too strong. Um, but we'll see how close they can get it. They can beam down that raider. Ek Pirate having a little bit of trouble getting a clear line of sight, or just choosing to go after Luma with the... in conjunction. Oh! Luma opting for the Joust challenges forces Ekpirate off of them. Off of them. Um Sorry Doreen about the pronouns. Um Power destroyed. MC75 almost dead. Where are they? There they are. And with the Narciss finishing off with the burst laser tie on this final offense here. Rather than the glue gun. Just finishes it off and. They close it out. The big gamers close out game two with a very stunning first offense and just incredibly impressive PK pressure all the way throughout. Very impressive showing. Well done. After Tempest, um, they had some interesting things going on there, but unfortunately we're not able to handle the pressure that Swift um, Narcissist and Pod put on with a lot of very consistent kit, consistent setups, followed up by kills from Narcissist and Swift. Very impressive. Most impressive. And we're going to hop over to the scoreboard screen just so we have that clean image for you guys over in uh, stats column. Um, and very good. Well done, everybody. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Jareen, I think... Yep, next game isn't for a while. All right, very good. We're going back live again at 5 p.m. PST. We're going to be going offline for a bit until then. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys... Now, hey, Jareen, can I plug? I'm going to plug. Um, today I'm putting out a new Thai Bomber energy guide. Um, so if you're interested, check out... My YouTube, oh, YouTube, YouTube, there it is in the, in the, uh, in the chat. Yes. Check out my YouTube channel, subscribe, new bomber guide coming out today. It's not out yet. I wish it was out right now. I would be able to super plug it. It'll be out by 5 PM though. I promise. <clears throat> if you want to learn perfect power management, how to do even more damage than these guys here. Or maybe as much. No, I, I, won't, I won't put a little too much. As much damage as these guys, these professional players, professional players over here. Um, <laughs> check out my guides. All kinds of wonderful information for you guys to take, learn, absorb, steal, repost them. I don't care. I don't make money from that anyway. <laughs> um, or if you guys are interested in coaching, um, DM Benkar hash 9419 or, you know, Discord stuff, exclamation coaching in the chat. Subs free 15 minute coaching sessions and thank you all for watching thank you all 
for uh, popping in and checking out the games. We are going to set up a raid now. Hmm. Is, is there is there anyone like? Hang on. Twitch TV squadrons. Is there anyone live on a Sunday? Tell me there's someone live on a Sunday. Let's see. Any morgue? Yep, morgue streaming. All right, we are going to hop over the morgue. Morgue was a player on a team. I'm a horrible person. Don't listen to me. Listen to morgue. Go 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 watch morgue. Morgue is an honest to goodness player. Uh, shoot. There's a million people made more. DMG morgue. Check him out. Enjoy the content. And I will see you guys next time. 5 p.m. About 